justify is one available value for the text align property. It allows the formatting of text in a style often used in newspaper design. In this episode, we'll look at the 12 possible values of the text align property, one of which is justify. Next, we'll look at using justified text with CSS columns. And finally, look at how justify can be used to create a floatless responsive grid system with just a few lines of code. The text align property performs a very familiar action of aligning text. Anyone who's read words on a page or used a word processor will be very familiar with the idea of left, center, or right aligned text. These are the three most common values used with text align, but there are others as well. The start and end keywords are similar to left and right, but they take the direction of the text into account. If the language is left to right, start and left are equivalent. If the text direction is RTL, then start and right are equivalent. The match parent value is very similar to inherit, but the start and end are calculated according to the parent's direction. This value has poor browser support, but does work in Chrome. The string values allow alignment to be determined by an arbitrary string of text. This value is currently not supported in any browser, so I wasn't able to test it. The example on MDN sounds quite useful though, to align a decimal value on the full stop string, which could look a bit like this. Leaving behind this quagmire of browser compatibility and some rather niche uses for text align, let's look at something more visual where text align justify becomes very useful. Sometimes a design will benefit from breaking up large blocks of text into multiple columns. This used to be the realm of some quite fiddly JavaScript, but can now be done simply in CSS using the column count property. This property is supported in all modern browsers, but requires prefixing in everything except IE. Inline content is automatically reflowed as the available space changes. Pretty sweet. To make the visual impact of the column stronger and look more like a newspaper article, we can use text align justify. We've seen how we can manipulate text align to justify copy and create neatly defined columns. It's also possible to leverage justify to create a fluid responsive grid system with no floats, no clear fixes and no dramas. For more info on float, and solutions to some of its pain points, check out episode six. Justified text aligns its left and right edges to the left and right edges of its block container. We can create a series of inline block elements and lay them out in a grid by justifying the contents of their container element. I read about this technique in an article published by Patrick Kunker in March, 2013, and it's pretty amazing. I'll create an unordered list with a class of grid container with six list items inside to act as grid items. I'll add a width, a background color, and some padding to the list items to space them out a bit. I'll also set them to display inline block, which is required for them to be justified. To remove the spacing introduced by inline block, I'll set the font size of the grid container to zero and the font size of the grid items to one rem. Now we can set text align justify on the grid container, but before the grid items will be equally spaced out, we need to create a full width hidden element that will determine the space in which to spread out the items. Using an after pseudo element, a bit like the approach used in Clearfix, we can force the width of the grid container to be as wide as its parent. Now the grid items space out correctly and reflow as the browser width changes size. Changing the width of the list items allows you to easily create different numbers of columns 
without doing lots of calculations for margins and gutter widths. I think this is a fantastically simple and elegant technique, and one that might come in handy for a future project.